All right, so I know that the title of this video might have some people up in arms, but before we dive into everything, I want to set some expectations on two things. One, I do not think that I have all the answers or that I am right about everything. This video is not me telling BSG exactly how they should make their game. It's just me, a player with over 7,000 hours of experience, noticing some things and trying to put my thoughts together in a way where I feel like I can accurately communicate what I want to say. And two, I want this to be a conversation. Once again, I don't think I'm inherently right here about everything. You guys could have better ideas than I have, or if I missed something or got something wrong, I definitely want you to let me know down in the comments. It doesn't have to be a gotcha. It can just be a conversation. All right, so if I say the weight system sucks, then we have to talk about what is wrong with it. Firstly, and most importantly, I do not have a problem with a weight system in this game. I think that that makes sense. I just think that there are more options out there than no weight system and the one we have now. There are a lot of effects that happen when you are overweight in Escape from Tarkov. The amount of noise you make increases, you can't jump as high, your stamina burns quicker, fall damage is increased, a bunch of stuff like that. Not all those things are bad. I think the main ones that detract from the experience are ergo reductions, meaning that as you get heavier and heavier, the amount of time it takes for you to ADS actually increases, and the movement speed penalties which are a reduction in your overall movement speed, whether that's your walking speed, your sprint speed, the amount of time it takes for you to get up to a full sprint, and also restricting how you can regain stamina. Sometimes you can regain stamina while walking around, other times you can't. And the big problem with these mechanics is how early they show up and how fast they ramp up. A new player can be overweight going into their first raid with just their gear on, and then picking up even just a few pieces of loot or gear can mean that they're already at potentially a 25% movement penalty. Now you might be thinking, of course you move slower when you're heavy, just like you would in real life. The problem is, I think that the weight system fails because it is trying to be realistic in an unrealistic scenario. Now, let me explain because I know that realism is a whole can of worms on its own. First of all, realism in Tarkov is kind of funny because Tarkov is undoubtedly realistic, but also not realistic at all. We want Tarkov to be realistic, but we also kind of don't. Time literally moves faster in Escape from Tarkov. I can perform surgery on myself in 18 seconds and then get up and run. Lip balm cures everything, and Big Pipe can tank a Lapua Magnum round and just walk away. I would actually argue that most of these things at least have a core essence that I agree with, even if they aren't currently designed very well. I don't mind bosses being hard, I don't want nighttime to last 8 actual hours, and I definitely want to be able to heal myself in raid. Realism is not what makes this game fun. But it also kind of is. The weapon modification system and how complex it is, how grounded all of the gear is and real life gear, the ballistic system and the fact that I have to bring extra bullets to reload my mags are all generally realistic things and are what make this game fun. My point here about realism is that it can enhance the game or it can detract from the game. When there is room for realism, it should definitely be explored. But when we try to apply realism to an unrealistic scenario, we can end up with frustrating game mechanics. Take the weight system, for example. Why do we loot things in Tarkov, especially gear? Why do we pick up armors, guns, helmets, and stuff like that? Seriously, take some time to consider why you want to extract with those things. The assumption is at one point we're gonna die and we wanna have more gear to go back into more raids with. Here's the thing though, you don't respawn when you die in real life. Nobody is arguing realism here, and it would be foolish if they tried. Of course we respawn. It's a video game, and all we want to do is keep playing it. It's also what makes this game in particular fun. We have a hideout full of gear, and when we die, we go back and look at it all and figure out what we want to bring into the next raid. I have always been in love with games where I get to hoard stuff or make money to buy more things. That loop, plus the ability to lose those things you buy, are the cornerstone of the addicting nature of this game. It's why we keep coming back. The concept of loss was the evolution of the hoard stuff genre, but it's definitely not realistic. And because the entire game is built on dying and then respawning to go into another raid, that definitely determines what we want to loot and take out of our raids. So then trying to apply the realism logic to how heavy we are and how we move seems silly to me. In real life, if I'm trying to just survive and I have a perfectly good armor on me, I'm probably not carrying out two additional full armor sets out, maybe a plate or two, but even that might be too much weight. If I have an M4, I'm probably not going to take two or three more M4s out of raid or other guns, I would probably just take the ammo or grab any attachments that I wanted. But in Tarkov, we do want to take those extra armors and those extra guns because we know when we die, we'll want to use them. Also, separate from the whole concept of dying and respawning, the whole point of the game is looting. 
PvP ends in looting, PvE ends in looting, the keys are engineered so that you go loot what's inside of them, and for a game that's so much about the looting experience, it feels like it doesn't really want you taking much of anything. Since the core elements of the game are looting to collect stuff so that when you die and respawn, you have stuff to use, I feel like fundamentally the weight system as it stands gets in the way of why we need and want to pick those things up. It's a looter shooter that punishes you for looting. Also, it tends to skew more towards higher level players and punishes lower level ones. Normally in games, as you level up, you get stronger and you need that strength to wield weapons that lower level players cannot wield. And in Tarkov, the higher level you are, the easier access you have to all types of gear. And the higher level strength and endurance you are, the less that gear weighs you down. So you move quicker, you are lighter, and you don't really have to worry about carrying out so much of the heavy stuff because you can just buy that stuff later. For newer or low level players, all the cool stuff that they need or want to loot will weigh them down almost to the point of being immobile, and you can only find those things in raid when you're at that lower level. The stims are another part of the game that really add to this problem as well. If you can afford to always have a mule, SJ6, and a trimadol on you, then you can essentially just pay rubles to completely bypass the weight system. And who has access or can afford those things? Yep, most likely higher level players. Now, I'm glad these stims are in the game because I'm not a huge fan of the current weight system, but why have them in the game if they end up promoting the exact same gameplay behaviors you were trying to get rid of? If the weight system is trying to be realistic, why add unrealistic stims to bypass it? SJ6 and Trimadol means you have literally unlimited stamina for several minutes. You can run circles around entire maps. or you can come at it from the other side. If you are okay with the system being unrealistic because you are adding these stims into the game, then why not just make the weight system less toxic for everybody? Now, before people come at me, I absolutely think the game should reward players who progress or are skilled enough to be high level or people who put a lot of time in, just not with something so foundational to the experience like movement speed. If you think that the only way to reward a skilled or high level player is to give them access to stims that completely remove entire aspects of the game, I don't really know what to tell you. Now, the early to mid game really kind of showcased this as a whole because everyone for at least a little while is on the same playing field. Looting heavy things like guns and armors are imperative to the fundamental experience of the game, but are also some of the most frustrating pressure points of the early wipe. Found a car battery that you need for a quest? Well, you aren't allowed to take anyone else's gear out even if you wipe the three man because you can barely move with your Mosin and that car battery. Now, the most common response I get when talking about how I don't really like the weight system is, well, nobody wants to go back to the chads bunny hopping around the map with 80 kilograms worth of loot and thick cases in their backpack, which is absolutely true. I actually don't think anybody really wants that. And that implies that there is no other option. And that is literally still happening. Like I said, right now with a mule and SJ6 and a trimadol, you can full sprint around the map bunny hopping around with 80 kilograms of loot in your backpack if we can agree to break away from the realism aspect of it. Maybe we can make something that sits between what we had before, which was nothing, and what we have now. Maybe something can be designed that accentuates or enhances the core features of the game instead of getting in their way. Maybe we can use the core premise of the game, dying, respawning, and looting, to abstract it a little bit so it feels realistic, even if it isn't technically realistic. Now, with all that being said, what do we do about it? So here are some random thoughts that I had on kind of a new design for the weight system. This is not incredibly thought out, and this is where I would love to hear some feedback from you guys. At kind of a high level view, I think generally the weight system should be more concerned with what happens when people are extremely overweight than what happens when people are kind of overweight. And if that happens, that really takes care of almost all the original behaviors that BSG were trying to get rid of, like people with raid bags and eight guns and three armors and that kind of stuff. Additionally, I don't think that any negative effects should take into effect until around somewhere in the 30 to 35 kilogram range. I think right now it starts at 26 kilograms. That's when you get overweight. And that seems a little crazy because that's basically just the weight of a single kit. And we are supposed to be highly trained soldiers in a combat zone that nobody else wants to be in. 
Now, taking a look at the weight system from that 32 to 35 kilogram mark up to 50 kilograms, I think we should keep some of the things that are in the game, like reducing your jump height or increasing fall damage. These things fall into the category of things that are realistic without really detracting from the experience. So that's totally fine. The big thing for me is to remove the movement speed penalties and make it so that you can always regain stamina while walking and removing any hit to your ergo in this range. I think that you can then replace those things with consuming energy and hydration faster when overweight. This could be something that scales the heavier you get and could be tuned in a way that it changes up what you need to loot. You might loot a few less things so you can always keep some food or water on you. And it also might change your pathing to the exfil because you might need to go pick up some food and water on the way. Additionally, maybe we could consume the stamina that we have quicker or maybe regain that stamina slower. Now, the important thing is here, you can still move at the same speed. Once again, your movement speed shouldn't be affected you should be able to move at 100 movement speed but you're just consuming that stamina quicker in this range i don't think you should be punished too much for doing what the game is asking you to do then going up to the next range of around 55 kilograms to 65 kilograms you can increase a lot of those effects like increasing how fast your hydration and energy burn how fast your stamina burns the the speed at which your stamina regains but maybe in this range you get hit with like a 15 percent movement speed reduction that scales so maybe at 50 six kilograms you have a five percent movement speed reduction up to 65 kilograms you have a 15 or 20 percent movement speed reduction then maybe it would be a cool idea to borrow something from the fatigue status effect which is your actions are slower i didn't actually know that was in the game but that could be something done here where healing or packing a mag those things are five or 10% slower as it scales up. This is that intermediate range where the game starts to let you know, hey, you've got a lot of stuff and it shouldn't be easy to get out with all this stuff. Then moving up to that critical overweight stage, maybe 65 to 70 kilograms and beyond, this could be where the hammer starts to come down. You get slapped with maybe a 30 or 40% movement speed reduction. You do get a hit to your ergo. You can't regain stamina while walking. You have to stand still. And then you can increase a lot of those other things, hydration, energy, all that kind of stuff. Because this is the final range where if you want to squeeze absolutely everything out of the raid, it's technically possible, but it will be a struggle. This to me feels like a more natural progression and still hard locks people out of just full sprinting around with 80 kilograms worth of loot especially because this isn't all we need to change. This is the base weight system, and next we need to take a look at the stims. I would say first we need to take a look at the mule and make it a 15 or maybe 20% increase carry weight instead of the 45% increase carry weight that it is now. This means it's more of a utility to use when maybe you're just over a threshold but you really want everything that you have, but it's not a stim that you can just pop and then take whatever you want out of any raid. Then we take a look at stims like SJ6 and Trimadol. I actually really do like that there are stamina based stims in the game, but the ability to stack several of them so that you can run across an entire map unbroken in one stamina bar, in my opinion, is too OP. Side note, I personally wouldn't mind if they just nerfed strength and endurance so that movement speed, carry weight, and stamina are just normalized among the entire player base, but I kind of know that's a pipe dream. And another side note, please, for the love of God, remove the stamina burn when crouching and standing back up. Maybe it can be a part of the game if you're spamming crouch, but that to me is just wild. Ultimately, I feel as though a system like this lets normal people play the normal gameplay loop in a way that allows them to move and engage with the game in a fun way while still retaining some sort of consequences around being overweight, all while still eliminating the type of gameplay that people really don't like. This system would be more forgiving at the low end, still brutal at the top end, and you wouldn't be able to exploit it with ridiculously overpowered stims. Like I said in the beginning, there could be things here I missed, or you could have better ideas than I had. I don't think I have all the answers, but I think Tarkov would be a better game if it took a look at the weight system and figured out a way to make it enhance the gameplay instead of kneecapping it. Let me know what you think about this video or if you had any ideas in the comments down below. If you made it this far, thank you so much for checking out the video, commenting, subscribing, all that stuff helps me out a ton. I also stream Escape from Tarkov about six days a week over on Twitch. My links will be down below. And if you're looking for people to play Tarkov with, our Discord server is an awesome place to be. That link is down below as well. Thank you again for stopping by and I will see y'all on the next one.